Hello guys. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about ionic capacitor. As you can see, ionic capacitor is a new framework uh, developed by ionic and it's still in alpha release. I believe the beta release is coming in uh, next month, sometime in June 2018. Um, and uh, the reason I want to do this ionic capacitor because I just finished working on my one of my app for uh, one of my clients and uh, I had to publish this app to uh, Android and iOS devices so I always use uh, Apache Cordova I'm a big fan of Apache Cordova uh, but somebody told me they asked me to why don't you review the capacitor and capacitor lets you do the same thing you can build your mobile app mobile or um, for Android or iOS or desktop app using your same HTML or JavaScript or Angular or ReactJS, JS, any, any JavaScript framework code, code base. So I decided to review that. Um, so what I did, I created a new GitHub repository and you can find all the documentation to this GitHub uh, repository here. I will include a link to this GitHub uh, into the video description. So, but before I start, I quickly want to recap why I decided to uh, look into this ionic capacitor. Because one thing is like ionic capacitor, it fits right into your package.json. So for example, I have this um, Angular app and um, if I want to publish it to Android, I have to you know do a little bit of tweaking. So in, in, in my last video tutorial, what I end up doing is creating a new directory and put everything into this one. Um, so I thought like, you know, if you're using ionic capacitor, it's built in. That means like, you know, separate setup is required. And I'll show you in a minute, like, what does it mean? So everything fits right into your existing package.json. Second, the biggest advantage I see, uh, the capacitor pro version is not um, available yet. But what they are saying for iOS development, you do not need a Mac. You will be able to test your app without a Mac machine. So that's the biggest advantage in my opinion. Other thing is like they have built in Electron app, um, like you can just, uh, for desktop apps, you have to use Electron separately. Right now Apache Cordova doesn't give you that, but using uh, Ionic Capacitor, you'll be able to do that right away. And I'll be showing you how. Couple of other things like, you know, you can, you will still be able to use all your Cordova plugins. So that's the good advantage because Ionic Capacitor is a, and the way they say it is a legal successor of the Apache Cardova. So you Apache Cardova. So you'll be able to use existing Cardova plugins without any problem. So without any further delay, let's get started. And um, before I do that, I want to quickly show you this app. This is the app built in Angular uh, 6.0, and I will include um, again a link to this. Uh, to video like you know how I built this app and I will include that link but right now this just go with this one this is the app and my objective is to build a, a desktop app a progressive web app and iOS and Android app um, using the single code base so let's go ahead and um, as you can see I am serving ng serve and this is the way you know uh, this ng serve is uh, serving my app on localhost port number 4200 okay so let's quickly head to the documentation couple of things before you start there are a couple of requirements and these are the same requirements as cardova so you need to make sure that your node version is uh, 8.6 uh, uh, plus i am just going to quickly check my node node hyphen v npm hyphen v so make sure that you are like uh, using current node and npm version then you will be fine uh, for iOS, right now you need macOS, but in Ionic um, Pro, uh, using Ionic uh, Pro capacitor, you may not need that. But right now I am on a macOS, so I should be fine. Next thing is like you need to have a Java SDK and Android Studio. Um, again, I have already covered this in my previous tutorial, uh, how to publish your app using Cardova. And I will include a link again into the description of this video. Uh, right now I have these two setups already so I'm going to skip this okay next thing is like you know JavaScript object for Electron I think uh, as long as you can run the app I believe everything looks good to you okay so let's uh, right jump directly into the code so right now this is my app you have to go CD into my app I'm already in my app my app is MNGIC I'm already inside my app next thing you have to do you have to install two different packages it's like uh, uh, it's called capacitor core and capacitor CLI. 
So let me quickly install those things. And before I do that, I want to show you in package. This is what my package.json look like. As you can see, everything was an Angular 6.0, and I do not have this these two. That's what I meant. Like you know, it directly. So this ionic capacitor, it sits in on top of your app. You no separate um, installation or like you know tweaking is required. So I'm going to hit npm install and um, sorry, oops. I'm going to hit npm install and uh, I will resume my recording once this is done. Okay guys, so as you can see um, my npm installed these two packages capacitor CLI and capacitor core. Uh, let's quickly go to my repository and the next step is all you need to do npx cap in it. So just to let you know npx is the newer version of npm, npm. so but this is npx cap in it. So cap stands for capacitor and ignition. So what this command is going to do is going to ask for um, your app name. And I'll, these app names, please be aware that you know whenever you are published to your Android or iOS, there is an, if you remember Cardova, there is a config.xml file. And this is the app ID is included in that one. So make sure that uh, whatever you fill in here um, is, is it goes in there okay so make sure that you include those kind of things here okay I mean properly fill out these entries okay so boom this is done so it initialized that uh, um, into my app so what actually it does mean in literally all is going to do is create a as you can see it created a capacitor.config.json and this is a very important file okay I'll come back to this later but you know you have to um, uh, I'll, I'll cover these entries one by one in later. But right now, as you can see, it's saying, okay, why need to add these three um, platforms? So, for example, you are developing for Android, iOS, or Electron. Electron is like, you know, if you want a desktop app or progressive web app, then there's missing one. So, you can say npx cap add web. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install it one by one and um, I will resume my recording again once all these four are done. So four means I'm going to say npx cap add Android, iOS, Electron, and Web. Okay, so I'll my resume my start uh, recording when it's uh, done. Okay, guys. So I just want to quickly uh, come back to this. See, I just started npx cap add Android, and as you can see, it hit an error. So this is a live code demo, so I, that's why I wanted to record this step as well. What this step is saying, that it could not find the web assets directory mngic www. So what is complaining about, that there is no directory called www. So I can go ahead and create a directory www, but it's not going to solve it. So because And make sure it has an index.html file as well. So what I can do, I can quickly create a directory www and put a dummy index.html file there as well. But, um, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay. The reason is, this is an Angular app. So instead, what I want to do, let's go to the angular.json file, because I already have an Angular app. And make sure your output path right now is this. I want to make it www. So and now I'll go back to my Angular and I will I'm going to build this. So ng build prod. What this is going to do is going to actually create a www directory and is going to create a good version of index.html. So before I I'll come back to that step, but I just quickly want to show this to you that uh, I'm going to run a ng build prod and um, is going to save is going to create a new web version of my angular app and put everything inside www directory so uh, i'll uh, update my github documentation as well and i'll come back and re resume my recording once this is done hey guys so i just finished uh, uh, that building my app and as you can see everything is like i did an ng build prod and everything is inside that www directory so that's why it's very important that your angular.json output path setting and uh, capacitor config setting is very very it should match otherwise it's not going to work okay so next step is i think uh, npx uh, cap add web i already did that part so and i did i can px cap add ios and add android all those uh, packages are done next thing you need to do is npm cap copy web 
So what this step is going to do is going to take all your file and copy it to the web directory. And next thing you have to do is all you to do is I believe sorry I'm still learning these commands is brand new. So npx cap serve. Let's quickly do that. npx cap serve. Beautiful. See, it's it's just like uh, open my default browser. Uh, okay, and see, and it's serving the same code on local port, local host three 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 port three 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 four port number. Okay, so that's how easy it is. So it's already serving this copy here. Next thing I want to do, suppose I want to create a desktop app. I'll come back to Android because Android takes a little bit time. So I quickly want to jump and I will show, to show you how to create a desktop app using this one. So you have to do npx cap add electron. Okay, it should be very, very quick. So see what it does. It actually creates a div folder here and uh, it will install everything inside this electron, uh, electron directory. Same thing it did for Android. Okay, so uh, or web. So it's installing all the dependencies inside the electron. Next step is you have to do npx cap copy electron and then for electron is a little bit different you have to cd into the electron. Okay guys so I just added npx uh, add electron and it, it created a new directory here. So now the next step is I believe we have to copy the content. So npm npx cap copy electron. Uh, let's quickly do this. What it's going to do is going to take all your www uh, folder and put it inside this one. Uh, so here it is little different. Okay, it's little different than iOS and um, Android or web. You have to cd into this directory once this is done. So cd electron. Okay. Now you are inside your app inside electron directory. And now here, if you go, if you do um, npm run electron start. Okay, and make sure this is not npx, npm. And as you can see, it has created a desktop app. So you, it will, it's, it's that quick. And as you can see, it's loading it. And uh, you can change the logo and everything later on, but this is what my Electron app looks like. I'm gonna close this, beautiful. Okay. So that's how easy it is to build a desktop app or, uh, 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 our web app, progressive web app using this one. Next step I want to do is I want to build an Android app out of this one. So let me get out of this one. Let me come out of this directory and you, you can see like, you know, it already installed this electron copy here. Okay. You can change the app name and everything. Uh, in, you know, if you go to the this inside electron directory here, okay, you can change the app name or uh, the screen or logo. Um, like this is your default GIF looks like, PNG look like. So all you need to do replace this with the with the graphics you want to add, and uh, there you have you have a desktop app. Okay. So next thing I want to do is Android. Okay. So let's quickly go back to my repository, and um, I have already added the Android platform. Next thing is you have to copy, and then you have to serve. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to copy all the content to Android directory. Okay, beautiful. And next thing is I will do npx cap open Android and let's see what it does. Okay guys, so I just uh, I did npx cap open Android and as you can see it opened my Android project uh, using Android Studio. That's all it did. Yeah, so uh, let me go back to the documentation um docs and android and as you can see like um, what they have mentioned right now i think uh, considering this is a still an alpha release so they haven't given you that given us the tools yet which actually you can use to build it uh, uh, your android app outside android studio uh, but basically that's all it is. so it, it can open add Android you can sync it you can copy it and you can open it using Android so basically that's all it is doing right now um, and if you have to the next step is if you are when you are ready to publish it 
um, you know, building your app and you want to publish it to Google Play Store, they are suggesting that you should still be using Cardova plugins or you know some other frameworks. You are Android delivered Android Studio. I'm hoping in next future, near future, is going to change soon. Um, considering this is still in alpha release, um, but so far looks like you know whatever I have built uh, using Ionic Capacitor, it it looks very very easy. So. One thing I definitely would say that's very convenient to use. Uh, maybe it's not production ready yet, but it's um, it's very, very convenient and I'm looking forward to their final release. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching.